Hey Flaunter, in this video we're going over everything you need to know to execute your butterfly flawlessly. So I'm Shelly from the Fit to Flaunt app and we're the pole dancing app that turns your home into your very own pole studio. So let's get into it. So if you're working on your butterfly, that means you already have your crucifix, you're really comfortable with it, and you already have your handstand from the crucifix. So it's super important to already know these prerequisite skills because then I can guarantee that after this video, you will be able to do your butterfly. All right, so now let's see what the butterfly looks like. All right, Fonter, so now that we've seen the butterfly, let's talk about getting into it. So the first thing we wanna do is get into our inversion. So when we go into our invert, we're crossing our ankles as if we're going into our crucifix, except we're not going to release our hands. So we're gonna go up. Our hands stay between our thighs, as you can see. From here, I know that my top hand will be, sorry, my bottom hand, well, the hand closest to the floor will be the hand that's on the bottom. So I'm going to keep this top hand on the pole and I'm gonna bring the bottom hand down. So when I bring that bottom hand down, my elbow will be slightly bent because I will need to push my body off of the pole. So if I have my arm too low, I can't push my body off. So elbow slightly bent, push my body off of the pole. Once I'm in this position where my hips are stacked on top of my head, I know that I can take my back leg off of the pole. So before you release the leg, you could totally test it out. Keep your knees squeezing the pole and just bend to see how you feel. If that feels comfortable, then you know, okay, I can release. So now it's time to bend and arch. So from here, you're looking down, really arching your back and holding your butterfly. To come out, we go right back to squeezing the pole with our ankles and our knees to end in our crucifix. All right, Fonzo, so now that we know what we need to do, let's talk about some of the common mistakes that beginners make when executing the butterfly. So the first one is removing both hands off of the pole. So if you remove your hands off of the pole and you try to go into your butterfly from the crucifix, when you're first learning and you're not sure about the hand placement, this can be a big mistake because now you have to try to figure out where the perfect spot is for both hands versus keeping your top hand in position and only having to focus on the bottom hand. So I'll show you what I mean. So instead of only focusing, on moving the bottom hand, if I go into a full crucifix, now I'm trying to figure out where to put my hands, my hands are too extended, it's not in the right spot, and it just makes it so much harder. So again, instead of releasing your hands, what you want to do when you go into your crucifix, leave the top hand and only focus on removing the hand that's closest to the floor. Remember, we want it slightly bent, and we push away. And that brings me right into mistake number two. Now, you've already gone into your crucifix, you didn't move the top hand, you're ready to go, except when you put your hand, your bottom hand on the pole, you have it too far down. Your hands are too wide apart and your body is on the pole. So now you're trying to do your butterfly. This causes your body to be twisted to the side. It doesn't feel good and it doesn't look good. Instead, what you want to do, remember that this hand should be slightly bent and you should feel like you're pushing your body off of the pole. So you need to push off of the pole before you go into your butterfly. So there you have it, flaunters. We went over the two most common mistakes preventing flaunters like yourself from executing a flawless butterfly. So again, if you love this tutorial and you wanna see hundreds more like it and you really wanna elevate your pole game and take it to the next level, download the Fit to Flaunt app and train with me online. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe.